Hi everybody, I would like to show you uh, a 22 caliber conversion kit from Johann Uhl in Germany. I recently bought this, uh, not directly from uh, the manufacturer, but uh, here in a local gun shop. Um, this is a slightly different conversion kit as it is gas operated, just like you would find on a M16 for instance. What it does is that uh, rather than using the regular blowback uh, system for caliber 22, by using the gas operated uh, system, it gives you a slightly harder recoil. Uh, the whole idea of this conversion kit, of course, is to try to simulate as much as possible a uh, recoil from a 9mm. Of course, it will never become as hard as a 9mm. Nevertheless, it is definitely not a look and feel of a 22 at all. It's somewhere in between. So you do actually get closer to the 9mm feeling uh, in terms of uh, recoil when you're uh, using this gun here. Uh, it comes slightly longer because due to local regulations, uh, this is the minimum required length of a firearm. So that's why I kind of protrudes a little bit uh, the barrel up here. Uh, we'll just open up the gun just a second and see what it looks like on the inside and see how that uh, gas operated uh, installation has worked out for uh, Johan Uhl and uh, this conversion kit. Um, I primarily bought, of course, like many others, uh, to save on ammunition. Prices are high here as well as anywhere else in the world uh, on 9mm. So shooting 22 and having something similar to shoot with because I shoot my Glock 9mm for competition. Uh, it just gives me a lot more trigger time and you know results are instant. I just want to share the magazine which I kind of find very neat. It's actually a Glock uh, caliber 40 magazine which has been converted so it actually holds now 15 rounds and uh, kind of it just gives you a little bit more you know, shooting time with one magazine so you can just load up with 15 rather than you know 10 or whatever you should see. Uh, a little bit expensive but yeah uh, they're definitely worth it. Let's have a look inside the, the farm to see what this uh, uh, conversion kit looks like as it's uh, gas operated. The frame itself is not interesting, of course, as uh, this is a conversion kit, so the frame is the same. I can use some other uh, Glock frames for this. I have actually purchased a separate frame for this, which comes along with, with now with the. With the, with the conversion kit. Anyhow, it uh, looks pretty much the same as a clock, as has a spring right there, which you can take out. Of course, here comes the difference. It's a barrel in caliber 22, and uh, looks slightly different, of course. The most interesting part of it is that you have now, let me see if we can get this light straight there. There we go. Uh, yeah, there we go. So, this is the barrel itself, and this is. Uh, the gas operated action right, right there. Uh, to match that, of course, inside the slide, there's the piston, which you can see right, right, right there. There we go. Uh, this actually works very well. I have had very little uh, failures with this uh, system here. Uh, it does have require that every, I would say, every 150, 200 rounds, you actually do go ahead and scrape out all the, you know, residue which is left in here in the chamber also on the piston itself uh, otherwise uh, the system will lock up uh, but if you do so and uh, also if you manage to get you know some 22 caliber rounds which are not you know really messy I think uh, you will have a lot of shooting time and a lot of trigger time which will definitely improve your abilities as a competitive shooter uh, if you don't have, of course, all the money in the world to go ahead and buy just you know, real ammo all the time. Unfortunately, we're not all in that situation, so I think this has been a very good investment. Um, as for prices, well, it depends on you know where you live in the world and how much um, you want to spend on this. I got it secondhand, so it was a fairly good deal. Uh, it was a couple hundred dollars, uh, a little bit more, perhaps. But I think if you buy it brand new, it will probably be a little bit of a higher price. Uh, but you can just punch in WS-17 and then the clock in Google and you will find Johan Uhl and his site and you can go ahead and order a conversion kit from him right there. That was it. Thank you much. Bye-bye.